the baseball cage problem by Anthony, Amanda, and Cindy. So the baseball team at Amity had a wonderful batting cage. One day they were practicing in the summer of shining. And suddenly, a tornado came and knocked their precious cage down. Needless to say, the cage was destroyed and the baseball team was sad and confused. Suddenly, the boys thought of building a new cage. They met with Coach Mangold and Coach Coppola, who told them they could use the 2,000 feet of usable turf from the old cage to build a new one. Given this restriction, the boys thought of the idea to create a batting cage with the biggest area We are going to draw a model of the cage. We will use W for width, H for height, R for radius of that semicircle, which will also equal one half W, and Q for the semicircle. Also, we have to make sure there is an L screen for the pitcher to throw from. The length of this will be equal to the radius. the area of this cage, so we will need the area form, but not right now, so we'll put it up here. Our area will be the sum of the area of the rectangle and the semicircle. But now, we need to get down to one very, so we can use the permanent one. This formula is B equals 2,000 also equals 2H plus 1 half W plus W plus pi R. Remember, we can already substitute 1 half W from R and simplify using 2 as a common denominator. Simplify H plus 2000 equals H plus 3W plus pi W over 2. Now we can solve for eight. We'll subtract the fraction to the other side and divide the whole thing by two. And we can now see that eight equals 1,000 minus three pi plus pi w over two. Now we are going to need that area point from number four. Let's put all of our important information in this box. Now substitute our new H value into the area formula so that we can find W. Don't forget we can use one half W instead of R and simplify. Simplify, distribute the W through and square. That will equal 1000 W minus 3 W squared plus pi w squared over 4, plus pi w squared over 8. Now we can take the derivative, and the derivative will be 1000 minus 6 w over 4 minus 2 pi w over 4, plus 2 pi w over 8. common denominator of 4 and combine those terms. Next, we set the equation equal to 0 and solve for w. We subtract that 1,000 to the other side, multiply by 4, and divide by that to negative 6 minus pi. So we now know that w equals 437.6. We have to round the answer in order to keep our lengths of whole feet. We can now plug our new W value to find our other variable. So H is going to equal 328 feet after we round. And R will equal 219 feet. To find Q, we are going to need the 
percent. You have the semicircle. So this would be pi r, which is half of pi r squared or whatever it is. And that would equal 685 feet. After finding all of our dimensions and lengths, we come to a perimeter of 1,996 feet. Now that we have all our dimensions, we are ready to find area. We need to find them separately, the semicircle and the rectangle. The rectangle will be 437 times 328, and then the semicircle will be pi times 318 squared over 2. The rectangle will equal 142,336, and the semicircle will equal 74,650. Add these together to get the total area. 222,951 feet at a cost of $10 per foot of turf. Our total cost becomes $2,239,510 for the cost of the page. After the page is built, the Amity Baseball player is going to be excited. 